Good morning, all. I am Jackie Taylor, Strategic Partnership Manager with the South Carolina Department of Employment and Workforce, and I want to welcome you to another addition to the WIOA Partner Series featuring our core and combined partner programs. Today, we'll hear from Nikki Uten, uh, the Vocational Rehabilitation Program Lead for South Carolina Commission for the Blind, who will share how the agency assists individuals who are blind or have a visual impairment to prepare for, obtain, or maintain competitive integrated employment through the provision of vocational rehabilitation services. Please ensure you're on mute during the presentation. At the end, you'll have the opportunity to unmute yourself or type a question in the chat should you have any uh, questions throughout the presentation. As you can see, this meeting is being recorded. The link to the recording and the presentation resources will be sent in the next few business days as a follow up to the meeting, while also being placed on SC Works Online Services staff online resources. So without further ado, I'll hand it over to Miss Nikki Uten. Thank you so much, Jackie, and thanks to all of our core and combined partners for this opportunity um, to present here today. Um, my name is Nikki Uden, like she said, and I work here at the Commission for the Blind. So this presentation is going to give you an overview of the services available through the Commission for the Blind. And I want to talk a little bit about our WIOA core partners. That's the Workforce and Innovation and Opportunity Act. Um, we partner along with the Department of Employment and Workforce the Department of Education and Office of Adult Education and the South Carolina Rehabilitation Department. Fortunately, here in South Carolina, our core partners and our combined partners, such as DSS, work together to deliver workforce solutions that strengthen our state and provide more opportunity for our citizens. So one of the best ways to talk about our agency and um, break it down um, how our agency works is through our mission. Our mission is to provide quality individual vocational rehabilitation services, independent living services, and prevention of blindness services to consumers who are blind and visually impaired, leading to competitive employment and social and economic independence. Next, we have our services. Um, we're going to start with our employment services then move to our services that offer independence. So the so one of our biggest con, our biggest um, programs is um, vocational rehabilitation, and we focus on helping our consumers to obtain, maintain, and regain employment. We do this by providing counseling and guidance, adjustment to blindness training, educational opportunities, vocational training, and assistive technology, all in preparation for employment. Our business enterprise program helps qualified individuals become entrepreneurs and operate their own vending and food service businesses. Business services helps consumers find work-based training opportunities and businesses find talented individuals to meet their workforce needs. So in our independent services, we first have children's services. Now, this is a um, service which is 100% state funded. Um, we serve children from age 3 to 12 um, who have a visual impairment. We help provide them with assistive technology they can use in school and at home, which helps them build confidence and learn independence. At the other end of the spectrum, we offer older blind services to individuals aged 55 and older who have severe visual impairments. Here we provide assistive technology, low vision devices, and orientation and mobility instruction that helps them remain independent in their homes and their communities. Um, and in this slide, we have two participants who are working on um, our Brailers, and they are writing Braille. Next, our mission focuses on prevention blindness. Um, on this side, you see examples of some of the eye conditions that can be 
corrected or mitigated. This program provides site, seeing, site saving services to individuals. For example, we may pay for cataract surgery, eyeglasses, or other prescribed treatments for individuals who would otherwise not be able to afford it. In fact, the past year, we have helped more than 120 separate appointments um, for site-saving service, site-saving surgeries or other services. We are so very fortunate that in South Carolina, we have the ability to assist individuals in a way that will prevent blindness. Okay, next is eligibility for services. To be eligible for most of the services from South Carolina Commission for the Blind, an applicant must meet the definition of legal blindness, or they must have a documented progressive visual condition that will lead to blindness within 24 months. Legal blindness means a person has a visual acuity of 20 over 200 in the best eye with corrective lenses or a visual field of 20 degrees or less. And I'll explain that further next. Okay, so here we have a slide that um, shows what a person with average, average vision would see. Um, and for anyone who cannot see the screen, um, I'll describe the picture, which is two people standing by a lake with some geese and a dog. And to the, to the uh, right of that is what would it would look like for someone that has 2200 vision. Okay, the next slide is the same picture, of course, on the left is someone that has 20% um, field of view. That's the only vision that they have. So they only see a small portion of the picture and 2200, which is our definition of legal blindness is on your right. Okay, so now we've come to vocational rehabilitation. Again, it's our largest um, program here. We serve youth ages 13 to 21 and adults with legal blindness or severe visual disabilities. We help build skills needed to maintain independence and obtain or maintain competitive integrated employment. Benefits counseling. Um, we provide benefits counseling so before employment begins, consumers who receive Social Security Disability Insurance or Supplemental Social Security, SSI or SSDI as we like to call it, um, better understand work initiatives, how working could affect their benefits, and reinforce their right to choose, which is part of our informed choice process. Okay. Our next is some additional services that we offer with vocational rehabilitation. And in the slide is a picture of a person receiving orientation and mobility training, but that's not all the services that we offer. Um, we have a full-time vocational evaluator who provides statewide vocational evaluation services. At our training center, we provide intensive multi-day evaluations to help determine a consumer's employment goal and the services needed to achieve that goal. We also travel to our regional offices to provide assessments and determine if there is a need for further intensive evaluations. And those evaluations um, include home management skills and that's to help people remain independent in their homes. We assess um, if someone is appropriate to help with an education goal or medical or physical restoration procedures. Some other services that we offer are braille instruction, keyboarding, assistive technology, assessments and training, and supported employment services. And this is a slide of a person um, reading braille. Supported employment services are available for consumers who have multiple disabilities and who require additional on-the-job supports to maintain employment. Okay, so our training center is located here in the Columbia area. It's a residential training center. 
um, and it provides very individualized and we focus on helping people prepare for employment. Consumers may be in this program for 16 weeks or longer, um, all depending on their level of needing assistance. So one consumer who recently came um, to our training center said that when he arrived, he felt lost and he was unable to navigate the world alone. But now that thanks to the services he received at our training center here at the commission, he doesn't feel that way. And he feels like he can go anywhere, um, anywhere. There's nowhere he can't go alone. So. All right, next we have assistive technology. And on this slide, we have several different types of magnifiers, screen readers, um, and uh, part of it is JAWS, and I'll get into that later. So assistive technology includes handheld magnifiers, low vision devices, smartphones, smartphone apps, um, screen readers such as JAWS and um, magnifiers like screen magnifiers such as Zoom text. We also have assistive technology text and instructors that teach the consumer how to get the most benefit from this technology. Okay, I know everybody hates using acronyms, but this is a must because it's a really long one. Our bridge, our bridge program is a great program but it stands for Building Readiness for Individualized Development of Gainful Employment. And um, in partnership with the Friendship Carolina, our um, bridge program for short allows participants to complete, to compete for a um, apprenticeship opportunities in the customer service field. Um, they are candidates for Blue Cross Blue Shields Customer Service Associate Apprenticeship Program. Okay. The next service that we offer are deaf blind bilingual services. Um, and in the past year, we've hired our first bilingual vocational rehabilitation counselor. This person is also our deaf blind coordinator. This is a significant step in assisting the underserved Hispanic population. They work closely with the Helen Keller National Center, participating in trainings and building relationships with many partners and other groups, including South Carolina Association of the Deaf. This statewide position also provides support for other SECB programs which require a bilingual council or deafblind expertise. Um, and we have a success story that we're really proud of. Um, there was a consumer that has been with the South Carolina Commission for the Blind since 2013. Um, some of the ser services that were provided were um, tuition sponsorship at Clemson University, assistive technology devices, provision of a tactile interpreter, an internship opportunity. Um, this led to the consumer receiving a job offer from Booz Allen Hamilton, a global technology and consulting company, um, where this consumer is now employed as a junior software developer um, with a salary of more than $70,000. And I know we're all jealous. Next is a low, our low vision clinic, which always has some really neat things. Um, it provides services to consumers who have a visual impairment, so they may effectively utilize their remaining vision. Services may include a low vision evaluation, the training and use of prescribed low vision aids, certified specialists associated with our agency assist those consumers with improving their quality of life through vision enhancement. Some of the types of low vision aids consumers may receive include digital and handheld magnifiers, protective sun filters, a monocler, and other devices to foster independence. In the photo we have, um, this is our consumer sits in front of a Vario Digital FHD CCTV. Please do not ask me to explain what that is. Um, on the table in front of her is a Galilean telescope. Um, 
she uses for distance viewing. And in the right hand is a handheld electronic reader. Um, in order to receive those services, they must be a consumer of South Carolina Commission for the Blind. And the stars on this map on the slide indicate where our low vision clinics are and we rotate. Um, they're, they're offered in Columbia, Greenville, Florence, Charleston, and York monthly. Okay. One of the other services that we offer through vocational rehabilitation is job preparation services. And those include customized employment, supported employment, um, and soft skills such as resume writing, interview skills. Next, we're gonna talk about our business services aspect. Business, business services um, has employment consultants, and what they do is provide awareness training, and that's awareness for companies on um, working with someone who is blind or visually impaired, job accommodation assistance, customized training to meet employer um, staffing needs, and workforce recruitment. This is a really cool program that we have here under our business services, and it's called the Business Enterprise Program. Um, and it focuses on employment. It is our 16-week Randolph Shepherd training um, that helps prepare individuals to become vending facility operators. These licensed vendors currently operate 95 vending or food service locations statewide, including rest stop vending, cafeterias, in federal, state, and county business uh, buildings, and a $38 million dining contract with Fort Jackson that feeds thousands of soldiers every day in 10 dining facilities. To participate in this program, a person must be a consumer and they must be referred by their VR counselor. And on this slide, we have a picture of a micro market like the ones that you see in the airport. Um, and that could be run by, by someone who is in our business enterprise program, been in machine routes, snack bars, cafeteria, the micro markets, and military dining facilities. Okay, so then we have outcomes. And we want to talk first about our partnerships. We rely on partnerships to provide internship trainings, work-based learning experiences, and employment opportunities. Some of our partners include Boeing, Richland County Public Defender's Office, uh, Clemson University, Able South Carolina, Freeway Music, Conduit, um, Legislative Services Agency, The Courage Center, SC Works, and South Carolina Talking Book Services. So, now we're going to talk about um, some of our successes um, this year. We placed um, 130 consumers into integrated competitive integrated employment, and that was a 19% increase from the previous year. And our average hourly wages of consumer is $15.10. The average hours worked are 33 and the average salary is $31,377.05. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about our successful outcomes um, based on position. Um, one is regional managers, and that's 72, 12 an hour. Um, property real estate manager at 54.95 an hour an accessibility consultant at $39.42 an hour, a computer programmer at $32.69 um, an hour, and a middle school teacher at $31.88 per hour, and a licensed practical nurse at $29 per hour. 